I've secured that plywood there as a substrate it's locked in there now it's level and solid and good so now I'm going to cut a piece of stone running this way which unfortunately already has a sink cut out in it so what I'm going to do is uh, fill that sink cut out with more redwood that's my only option I think at this stage I was thinking of doing that whole corner with wood but might be a bit of overkill and I don't have enough of the same uh, iron bark to put in the whole corner um, so there's the stone it's already got a, a sink shape cut into it so it, I'm almost going back nearly halfway there is where it'll be so it'll be a big chunk of wood but I think that's my I think that's my current plan and I'm on a roll so I might as well keep doing it It's a wee bit of adjustment. I've made several adjustments on that stone and now I've got a consistent 20 millimeter gap between the two which uh, will be easy to fill with a bit of redwood a bit of iron bark that'll come all the way through there it'll come all the way across the face here and it'll be down so it'll be 20 mil by 20 mil in the crack which is fairly strong but the same piece will also come out here underneath here and it'll be 40 mil thick from in under the bench there 
to over here with a little bit of a round over. That'll finish off the face of the cabinet. Put a nice seam between the two that'll be flush. I'll make it a little bit proud and then sand it down in place so it'll be flush. Then I'll fill this hole with iron bark and I'll make an iron bark shelf, boxy shelf going across there to fill up that gap at the back. I think that will add a bit of color, a color splash to an otherwise white kitchen. So that's what I'll get on with. Um, I've got a tip for um, video makers. If you're gonna do a little speech to camera, make sure the camera's switched on first. Otherwise you waste a perfectly good speech. Anyway, don't think I filmed this yesterday, but I put dowels between them, four dowels in that, clamped it down with glue. Should be all nice and set up now and uh, ready for installation. It looks pretty good. There's some bubbling in the glue. And there's a bit of a gap there where the wood isn't straight. But I'll worry about that later. I like it. Need to trim a bit on that end. But that's going to leave a good gap up there, which is not ideal. I'll deal with that later. I don't think that corner is square anyway, so this panel can come out a bit if I shim behind it. Uh, yes. Good idea, Brian. screw at an angle downwards in the wood here down into the corner down there and that'll be hidden behind the power point sharpened and adjusted and I'm going to try and shave this down to the stone or close to it at least I um, I have a theory that the blade won't scratch the stone but it should scar the wood so let's have a go training in the sharpening I think I reckon I was kidding myself about my plane being sharp 
I just rewatched Matt Estley's How to Sharpen a Plane and How to Set Up a Plane. And the setting up was fine. The uh, sharpens just ain't there. But then I remembered my brother gave me a little toolbox uh, for my birthday, for my 60th birthday. And in that toolbox was this tiny little thing. And it's Japanese. And Japanese woodworkers are famous for the quality and craftsmanship. And straight out of the box, I've given this a try. Wait, you see this? <laughs> it's brilliant. So I reckon this will do my job for me. Just take my time. Get nice wispy little shavings. That's how small it is. Imagine that tiny little thing dealing with Aussie iron bark. That is a true thing of beauty that very impressed put it back in its box now for another couple of years I don't want to waste that on rough jobs this is the toolbox my brother gave me for my 60th birthday I've shown it once before but I'll, I'll show it again because it's a beautiful thing it's only the second time I've used it because it's too special to be in the hands of a hack like me. I have, uh, I have used the um, pull saw, this Japanese pull saw. It's a uh, rasp, quite good one too. Uh, some sharpening stones. 1,000 and 6,000. See, I shouldn't be allowed to have nice things. Uh, a little brass or bronze hammer, which I have used as well. And this chisel I have used once. And I'm about to use it again on that end piece because that is sharp too. So there you go. Beautiful little tool set my brother gave me for my 60th birthday. Putting it to good use, but not too much use because it's too nice. But this thing, that was fantastic. Did all those shavings. <laughs>